Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today I've got Night L Lacquer Over the Rainbow and I'm going to stamp using Mora Plate 44. I'm using American Classic Starting Over as my base coat and here is Night L Lacquer Over the Rainbow. Beautiful silvery blue kind of awesomeness. <laughs> I'm going to go in with my first coat of this. Um, Santa did bring me a ring light, so we're going to be playing with it and working on getting the lighting and the dialed in just right. I am going to cap my free edge there, just to make sure this manicure lasts for a little bit. Hi Woody, how you doing? He's busy, busy. And here we go with our second coat of Over the Rainbow. I just figured this would be a really good base for the stamping that I'm going to do. I'm going to top, top it all off with some Fast and Hard from Vibrant Vinyls. Get it to dry down really well so that we can do some stamping without messing up this base. Gorgeous polish. I'm just, ugh, can't believe I hadn't worn this one already. And here's a swatch photo of it all on its own. And here's the beautiful stained glass plate, stamping roller plate number 44. And I'm going to use my Beauty Big Bang scraper and my Born Pretty Black stamping polish. I'm also going to use this Wish Monocle stamper and my Bundle Monster Monocle stamper today. I'm going to be making some decals. I'm going to clean this plate off with some acetone and a paper towel real quick just before we get started. I like to do that after removing the blue film. And I'm going to pop in here with that black stamping polish and just cover part of the image with the polish and get ready to scrape. I was really excited to use this plate. Really, really excited. So here we go. I'm picking up these images. And if my camera would focus, you would be able to see that. <laughs> now, I do like the ring light. You can see it there in the reflection on the stamping plate. Um, it's not blinding, but you can totally see it. Uh, I think it does work better for this kind of filming. So I'm looking forward to playing with it some more and getting used to it. We're going to scrape again and pick up this image because I am going to do it on my thumb, ring, and middle fingernails today. I'm going to be using those jelly polishes that I made um, and the Born Pretty Smudge Free Top Coat. I'm going to use this before I start using those jelly polishes uh, just because on my very first one I didn't do this step and those little fine lines uh, were trying to pop up. It was distorting them quite a bit so I decided to use the smudge free on it. Now we're going to go fill it in. I'm using this tiny water marble dotting tool thing that I have. I figured I'd give it a try since this is a little more intricate. Um, of a design. The, the lines on it aren't very fat, so <clears throat> I was wanting something that, you know, maybe I could control a little better. <laughs> I couldn't find my for real water marble tool, so we just had to grab what we could find. And I'm filling this leaf image part of it in with this beautiful green. I love being able to flip it over and see how well it's doing. And now I'm going to use this orange jelly that I made. I'm going to go around kind of like I'm doing like the center of the flower and then like the edge of the flower in the orange. Just figured, you know, wanted to play with more than just one or two polishes. So I decided three would be okay for this today. And I really love this plate. It had so many images on it. It was really hard to pick which one I wanted to use first. And this one won today are like lilies I guess and now we're gonna pop in with some yellow and fill in some more of this design I am gonna leave the rest of it open so that you can see the polish my base color polish I figured that would be a good one to do today and I'm so impressed already with this new lighting system because you can see what I'm doing 
but I'm not getting like a lot of light bouncing and I'm really liking that. Santa did good, y'all. <laughs> Santa did real good. <laughs> so I'm just gonna fill these in and I'm just gonna show you me doing just one today. Kind of Oh, I forgot part of this leaf, so I'm going to have to go back and do it. I'm going to go on and take care of that. There we go. Seeing another little part over here. And that's what I love about making decals, is you can flip it over, you can check it out, and you can go back and wrap it all up. Now, today I'm going to be using the Pro FX Sticky Base, and I'm showing you me... I'm showing you putting it on both of these fingers. I'm going to highly recommend that if you're doing decals like this, do one finger at a time because I had a little bit of trouble getting this uh, second one to stick. You'll see it here in just a second. So we're going to line this one up, get it ready. And the first one goes on pretty, pretty good without you know any problems. It sticks really well. I'm going to mush it down and make sure it's sticking all over. I got a bunch of free edge, so we're going to trim it with some scissors. My little pinchy scissors. I love these little scissors because I can use them with my non-dominant hand. And now I'm going to go in with this little cuticle tool. And don't worry, I'm not cutting myself. I'm being, I'm being quite, quite careful. I'm just going to cut around some of that tool. And as you can see, I'm not making myself bleed or anything. I am being very careful. You could do this with an orange wood stick or, you know, um, you could just go in straight up with your acetone and your cleanup brush, which I will be doing here in just a second. I'll get some of this mess out of my way. I've just got some acetone with some acetone additive in that little dampen dish, and I'm going to use my cleanup brush to go around. I tap on the ends. I just use the side of the brush to tap and to get it to kind of lay over the edge of that nail. And then I go around all the way around it and it helps kind of melt that decal down to the nail a little bit better too. And I'm doing some more tapping on the end. I'm trying to get up nice and neat around that cuticle area. And then I'm going to go in underneath on this bottom part. I'm going to try to remove a little bit more of this from the end. I don't like a bunch of bulk under my nail. So I'm going to get some of that cleaned up. And I'm going to do some more tapping using the side of the brush. Works really well. So there we go. There's our first one. I did go ahead and apply the second one off camera. And I'm going to be topping this all off with some posh top coat. Look how glossy that looks. I love it. Making sure to cap that edge so that the decal don't just pop up. So there we go. I've got a little smearing on that middle nail, but it's all okay. And there's my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.